remember you. You're... You're the one? How did you come back? How did you find me here? When I saw you with Ensel in the well, I ran. But it wasn't because I was afraid. I was coming to report that Hughes' experiment had succeeded. The Well of Souls is bigger than just one gnome's pet project. My contact pays well for information about its progress. I just send reports to make some money on the side. But I don't know how the Tawatha found out. This has nothing to do with them. I never wanted anyone to get hurt. I promise you, if I knew who it was, I'd tell you. Sharing research is one thing, but academic sabotage is a crime. I, I, I don't have... OK, here. It's all I've got, plus what I got paid for the information. I don't want any part of this. I'm going home to Odessa. You've come from the tower, haven't you? Name's Agarth. Maybe you can help an old fate weaver, eh? Fate weavers look at the great tapestry of fate. The threads will tell us how a life will unfold. But knowing the future and being able to change it are two very different things. Did he? Poor old Fomerus Hughes. He respected the way the world works. What a shame. He's probably dead by now. The cards told me that the Well of Souls would work, but Hughes' success would come on the day of his death. He took it pretty well, honestly. Although we did a lot of drinking after that. You really don't know much, do you? A fate weaver taps into the threads of fate and channels that energy through a focus. My order prefers cards. The cards are unique to each fate weaver, since we all see the weave differently. I suppose I could spare a little help, in memory of Hughes, or in celebration of his success. Whichever. You. You're the one. Then that means... It all makes sense now. The cards this morning. I drew the Gravedigger, the Running Man, and the Beast. Prepare yourself. They're coming.
What are you? The threads of fate. I've seen them before, but I've never seen anyone manipulate them like that. You just changed how the world was supposed to work. How did you do that? You just... Fate is the will of the gods. No mortal should be able to change it. How is that even possible? Come here. I'm going to do a reading. You might be able to change the threads, but fate will still have a plan for you. I promise not to tell you if I see your death. It's a gift. Some people paint landscapes. Other people write poetry. I peer into the weave of fate's tapestry and see people's deaths. That would be my guess. He was an academic, but he had a proper respect for fate's plan, unlike most gnomes. You're nervous. Relax. This is what fate weavers do. I'll be seeing your place in the pattern of destiny. Who you are, what you've done, where your path takes you. Or, at least, I should be. You're real, right? I swear I haven't had that much... Fate's weave is always hard to see. It's in motion, hard to make out, but undeniably there. Yours is just... missing. This doesn't make sense. All mortal creatures have a place in the pattern. You should have one too, dead or not. If this is true, and I'm not saying I believe it, then your path is yours to determine. I can see the threads around you, but they're shifting, changing so rapidly, I can't make sense of them. Normally the threads would guide my hand to the cards, and I'd use those cards to see your pattern in the weave. But it just didn't happen. They wouldn't focus. So either there's something wrong with me, and there isn't, or there's something very wrong with you. It could mean nothing, or it could mean everything. The world is changing. You might be a sign of that, or maybe the cause. I've never had a reason to doubt my own readings, but we should consult with Arden. He's not a friend, but he's got a good eye for the tapestry. I'll meet you at his home to the east. I'm going to see if I can be of any help to the wounded at the tower. That's just it. I don't know if you've got one, but that's why we're going to see Arden. He lives in a little hut to the east in Yulven. I'll meet you there. Once I was Agarth the Unyielding, the Blade of Avgrum. I wrestled the Colossus Priestess and declined knighthood by the High King of the Fae. I was a hero of men, but that wasn't enough for me. I joined the Fate Weavers, hoping to find a way to conquer destiny itself. Turns out fate is the one thing I couldn't fight. You can find Arden's little cottage in the middle of Yovan. Had to move there when he got run out of town. He's a damned good Fate Weaver. But that doesn't make you very popular. Especially not in dark days like these. We are all threads in the tapestry of fate, measured, woven, and cut according to a great plan. Fate weavers undertake the task of reading those threads. Our title always was a bitter lie, since we have no control over how that tapestry is woven. But you do. And when a fate weaver looks at your place in the weave, 
We see only the shapes of what you may choose to become. The Fate Weavers were once a great, unified order of sages from all the mortal races. We foretold the destinies of kings and gods. But that power takes a toll. Nobody likes bad news. And all the news in the world is getting worse. The order splintered long ago. Now the old traditions are all but lost. And all I foretell is the fate of my beer. And I see it being empty soon. Hughes was always an odd one. Curious and determined as any of his kind, sure. He never shut up about his work. But he always knew what was important. He didn't worry about dying as long as he knew he'd get the well working. The Tawatha aren't like any Fae I've ever known. They're cruel, bloodthirsty, and savage. Why, they're practically human. What could this all mean? Still here, huh? Can't quite decide if you want to... What could this all mean? Of all the songs in halls of lore, there echoes none more grand than Olain's many feats of might, the pure and lady of the light. She is a knight of golden knot. She is the cure seeker, the conscience of the summer fay. She is the heart of spring, of day. Everyone just stand back. The warden can't work when you're crowding so close. Greetings. Go back to your business. Go on. I don't care what you race. It's a tragedy whenever anyone's savage like this. Just look at the poor creature. She's been beaten to the brink of death. The Fae may be strange, but they certainly don't deserve this. It appears she was attacked with some manner of short blade, likely a dagger, although there's no way I can be sure. People simply stood by as she called for help. No one lifted a finger. Can you imagine? It's shameful to treat another in such a way, even if she is a fay. I don't know whether we possess the knowledge to treat such a wound. Frankly, I don't even know if I could save a mortal with such grievous wounds. Oh. It's difficult to say. We've been plagued by the Red Legion for days, but it's not their way to go after the Fey in the area. They like their targets mortal. In case you haven't heard, there have been some Tuatha sighting in the woods to the west, so that's also a possibility. It's unlikely, though. Well, you're the only one. With all the troubles we've suffered in this village, people are weary of adversity. They'd rather just ignore it. I'm going to suggest something a bit... Untraditional. There's a fae named Eri. She spends her days up on the hill overlooking the village. Seek her wisdom. I would do it, but... I am a coward. That's the truth. Perhaps a fae will know how to heal a fae. If not, then we're back where we started. I've spent most of my life dealing with them. 
But they aren't like us. Not at the core. They don't know what it means to be a man who sweats to feed his family. Gorehart has become a sort of refuge for those settlers who wish to live a life free of Fae. I don't see that lasting. Not with the war. Not with everything changing. I've seen many bandit clans in the Crystal War and back home. But these men are a particular breed. They like their victims weak and bloody. The Red Legion has been a presence in the area for several weeks now. Our people are scared to show their faces after dark. She spends her days in the precipice overlooking the village. She doesn't think we're aware of her presence, but we most certainly are. Hope you stay in town. What is the mission hiding? Why are its gates forever closed? These are the questions we all should be asking. Do the half-truths of these wise men exhaust you as they do me? I have listened to their prayers for too long. There are other voices to be heard. I don't know if what the Fae say about these stones is true, but if it is, well, this is just too good to not save forever. Lystrom was out of town when Artol was visiting. Now, Lystrom doesn't know Artol, and Artol is old and strange. She could be mistaken for a fate weaver. So, when Lystrom came back to town, here was Artol the Oracular. I said to Lystrom, I hear her readings are amazing. You should go. <laughs> My, you should have seen it. A rooster, she said, will change into a man, and this man will become your lover. He will provide for you, and he will make you laugh, and he will make your life exciting and easier. But, and this is something you can never forget, he must never eat chicken. <laughs> and once in a while, you will need to peck at things on the ground, and every morning at the break of dawn, you'll hear a loud cry from him. <laughs>
May your hollow gods keep you mortal. I am called Airy. Your face is new to me. You are different from those in Gorhart. They amuse me, and I strive to learn all I can from them. Have you come to ask about the Tuatha? I can offer only what I know, and hope it will suffice. I wandered the forest for many seasons, listening to lore stones of the great ballads. Before that, I dwelled in the gardens of Issa. I prefer the quiet of this village, the mirth of the witless. I cannot reveal much. The gardens are the jewel of the summer court, a wonder beheld by few mortals. It is located far east of here in a wood so thick it would devour all but those who knew its secrets. Do not pursue such mysteries, mortal. They are not for you. We are kin to the seasons and cycles of all life, to new life and perpetual growth. Mortals may view the warmth of the petals and smell the beauty of a newborn bud, but only Fay know the strength of the roots beneath the surface. I find them so interesting, from their vestments to their odd habits and demeanors. Just yesterday I saw a monk from the Almain mission sneaking through the underbrush. Strange creatures you are. Strange, but glorious. Yes, I witnessed this crime, although I did not recognize the one who perpetrated it. It is often difficult to distinguish one mortal from another. The victim was Eluvia. But I knew her only by name. You must be hoping that I can offer advice, but I cannot. If she is meant for the Great Cycle, then so be it. However, I would be quite interested to find out whether one of my kind would benefit from one of your mortal remedies. I've always wondered. It will need to be powerful. Your delicate forms are far more sensitive than ours. In fact, it's astounding that you survive as long as you do. Perhaps your mortal apothecary can provide one. You can always create the potion yourself if you possess the skill. All of us are at the mercy of the changing seasons, mortal and fey alike. If it is one's time to pass into the Great Cycle, then we must not protest. The passing is keeping with autumn, and is as natural as the eventual rebirth. Farewell. secret to tell you. I am not sad. When I was a girl, my father used to tell me that when you grow old with someone, you tie your fates together and create a pattern that is part yours and part theirs. My father said that this is why when an old person dies, their partner is never far behind. But I do not feel that way. I feel free.
They say Agnir Farhol is haunted. Haunted by Red Legion Band. Thankfully, the war is far from here. What? Are you here for a weapon? Going to earn a Lord's favor in this ridiculous war, are you? I was raised to know weapons before anything else. You won't meet many women who could fashion arrow fletchings before they could speak. I'll be here. Need something? What do you want? You there! Do you feel nauseous? Itchy? Have you noticed any blood leaking from your eye sockets? I've been noticing the symptoms everywhere. No, this situation could not be any worse. If the Red Legion is involved, then we could all be staring death in the face. What have I done? I'm sure I have a vial somewhere in this cottage, but I do not have the time to search for it. I'm sorry. Why ask questions when you could never understand the answers? It's clear your prowess is not with wit, but with a weapon. If you must know, 
Something of value has been stolen. An alchemical formula that, if released, could cause untold devastation. I see its symptoms everywhere. Only my apprentice, Karth, and I knew of my work on the formula, but he's gone missing as well. It was an early version, unstable and rife with potential dangers. My hope is to develop a weapon that the Alphar can bring against our common enemy, the Tuatha. To say more would be to reveal my secrets. All I can say is that it involves lesions, goiters, and a good deal of pus. His name was Karth Hilfred. I found him one morning outside my door, picking through the ember eyes. I was impressed how well he knew his way around a plant. I've never seen one so eager to learn. I do not deserve such good will after what I've engineered. If disaster occurs in Odorath, it will be on my head. I'm not sure where Karth may have gone, but I knew that before he came to me, he found shelter in the ancient chambers of Agnurfar Hall, an Irathi ruin east of Gorhart. Once you've ensured Karth's safety, you must learn what's happened to my formula. When you do, destroy it. It's the only way to keep us safe. The villagers believe it's haunted, but I have a feeling that's a ruse devised by the Red Legion. They mean to terrorize these people into submission, and it's working. He always spoke of his time as a wastrel living in the abandoned halls of Agnor Farhall, the Arathi ruin. People say it's haunted, but people say many things. Goodbye. What are you doing down here? Don't you know Agna Farhold is haunted by the spirits of the Arathi? So? Are you foolish or just stupid? Oh, I see. The Twisted Gnome has found herself a champion. How delightful. Nanny always was a fool. So immersed in her work that she failed to see the deception before her very eyes. The Red Legion has her formula, because I gave it to them. At this very moment, they are moving crates of it eastward towards the city of Rathir, where they will fetch a high price. Poor Nanny. So trusting, so pathetic. Of course she can never learn of my ruse, can she? I'm sorry, but I have no choice. <laughs>
Sometimes this is too hard to believe. But you can accept the strangest fact that you were wrong. Yes, but that and this endless vacuity is horrible. The Ancient Ones were here. They delivered themselves into the world. The time-worn cycle turns with ages. The seasons drift along the stream. They wait for the past. The future brings the forming storm. This is no place for a home, for anyone.
Stay close to the village. Everyone in Gorhart is talking about the attacks. They say that the Red Legion is receding back into the shadows from whence they came. It is all thanks to you. You found the formula and destroyed it. Now, you may think you understand the impact of this act, but you truly do not. You are a friend to this village and to me, Nanny Hanry. Take this. It is not much, but it gives you an idea of my gratitude. I think I'm able to part with anything, much less one of my finest mixtures. This is a place of research. There is no charity.
vậy <laughs> what is it? You made it. Just in time, too. Give me the potion. It will help, but it's not enough. Someone must go to the Fey and explain what happened here. One small misunderstanding and we'll no longer just be strangers to the Fey. We'll be enemies. She is a member of the House of Ballads, the legendary court of Fey heroes. They are warriors without equal, with centuries of glory to their names. If one of their own was killed by a mortal, the House of Ballads and its king would bring a fierce vengeance upon us. Gorhart would be a ruin by day's end. I'm not sure yet, but this is bad. She's Fey. Even worse, she's a knight in the House of Ballads. Fey don't kill their own, so it must have been someone in Gorhart. If the House of Ballads learns of this, the king will burn Gorhart to the ground. They see all mortals as invaders. We could go to the Warsworn and get an oath of protection, but that would require payment. We mustn't cover this up. But who do we tell? You're turning out to be very helpful, my friend. You have my gratitude. I'll see to it that you're honored. Rumor says that the House of Ballads has its headquarters not far from here, in Glendara to the northeast. Try to gain entrance if you can. It's east of here, in the meadows of Yolvin. The Feylands are a wicked place, crawling with creatures so strange you'll assume you're dreaming. Peaceful Fey make up the tribe known as the Court of Summer. They are led by a king in a faraway city, hidden from mortal eyes. That's about all I know. Little more than rumors and stories from my youth. Farewell. Need supplies. Try the quick.
Proceed no farther, mortal. You are not one of our kind, and the seat of Sir Sagral will never be occupied by one so mundane. Hallam the White prepares the contest, and he must not be interrupted at this our time of greatest need. No doubt you speak of Illuvia, impetuous fool. I told her to avoid your settlement. To avoid Odoroth altogether. She never listened to my warnings. I will chastise her appropriately upon her return. It is a loss, yes, but not the first unexpected event in this telling. What happened? Yes, I have noticed a growing number of humans in Dalintarth. It must be this war. I can't say I understand it. Oh, yes, your kind usually expects some form of trophy for good deeds. A bauble? A prize? Perhaps another time. If you would be so kind as to deliver this message. We mean the people of Gorhart no ill will. They have nothing to fear from us. It is to fill an unoccupied seat in the House of Ballads. This is not a mortal concern. If Hallam learns I told you, he may see to it that I am banned from the telling. I should not be seen talking to you. It isn't good for my reputation. Fairly. Thank you. 
<laughs> you made it. You're back. I was so worried that the Fae had taken out the revenge on you. As usual, I was wrong. The Fae has recovered, thanks to your potion. In fact, she wishes to stay in the village for the next several weeks as she recovers. Goreheart will be a new community, a place of compassion, and it's thanks to you. Please, take my sword and buckler. They will serve you well, as they have served me. Hope you stay in town. <laughs>